This is a certified hood classic. The world has seen many legendary duos come to life in different forms of entertainment. The NBA with the likes of Shaq, Kobe, Magic Johnson, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 50 Cent, and Eminem from the rap genre, and who can forget the iconic duo of Goku and Vegeta from Dragon Ball. Duos are something we love to see, especially when they're cooking the same team or person in the matchup, which is why in today's video, we'll be going over one of the greatest duos of all time, Batman and Nightwing, and the time they humbled Amazo and under the Red Hood. So without further ado, my Ds, let's get right on with the commentary. Three goons were busy doing GTA speed race as Batman was on their tail, Terminator style. The goons were thinking they lost Batman, and these losers really don't know how Batman gets down. There's no way Batman's gonna lose sight of y'all crackheads. If Batman did lose y'all, well, he better give us his utility belt, cause a fraud like him should not be in possession of a goaded item like that. The goons were thinking they lost Batman, when the gold hero dropped onto the bonnet of the car with the spawn 1993 animations to tell the frauds they're anything but good. What an amazing line from one of the greatest heroes to ever do it. You gotta love it man, the wild Luigi goon pulls out a season 4 Fortnite pump shotgun and I was like damn, bro wants to take Batman's head off like he's prime day Kong from 2018, Batman better jump out of the way. Luckily Batman activated his spoiling card and immediately hopped out of the blast leading to all three goons being encased in mirror shards. Now tell me y'all, was that smart of letting your dumbass homie shoot a barrel out of the already broken mirror? Cause he's not a real homie at all, trying to make y'all look like Darby Allen after he crashed into glass in Sting's retirement match. What makes this scene even more weird to me is how none of the goons got cut with those glass shards. They got the same type of plot armor Ichigo had when he was originally getting cooked by Okiora. The goons continue moving forward. They see a bunch of spike traps on the ground and yep, this is exactly why Batman's on the Mount Rushmore of superheroes. The man pulled up, talked shit to the criminals, and placed out his trap for these fools. An exceptional person Batman is. The tires of the truck get blown out by the trap, leading to the vehicle to perform the same animations as those terrifying street takeovers we see every week on social media. And from here, you already knew Batman was in his bag because he succeeded in the one thing and now it's having the goons start freaking out. Bro, how are we gonna stop this car and deal with an S tier hero like Batman? We're finished. Batman performed an avatar connection with his Arkham counterpart to perform a fear takedown on a Waluigi goon, shocking the little goon to the point he accidentally ran himself into the driver goon. My brothers and sisters, do you see this buffoon? I understand being scared. I mean, it's Batman for crying out loud, but to ram into your homie who's trying his best to have y'all escape the Gotham hero is just pathetic. If I was the driver man, I'd never pull up with him to anything ever again. The sudden slam forces the driver goon to make a sharp turn to the left, which leads to a very suspicious box falling out of the truck. Yeah, I already know something overpowered is in there, ready to pounce on Batman. The truck falls over and finally stops near a trailer wall. I'm hoping you clowns don't plan on running away from Batman, cause I know y'all ain't trying to be on the receiving end of the Arkham City interrogation special technique prompt from the GOAT hero. Of course, I was wrong as the driver goon tried taking hold of the pump shotgun, and I'm just at a loss of words. I know goons aren't very bright in superhero media, but damn, that was me or you guys? We we know damn well we would have just been fake sleeping on the ground. Batman steps on the goon's hand, causing the man to scream out of pain. And one thing about Batman, the nigga's gonna be brutal with you when you do shit you're not supposed to do. I'll never forget the way Arkham Origins Batman would twist criminals' necks with his knee after clapping them like chill my guy. Batman grabs the goatee goon and lifts him up in the air to ask him who he works for. The goon who was in his orange town Usopp era told Batman he works for nobody, which causes Batman to activate his signature bat glare as he told the man if he lies to him again, crashing into a wall would be the least painful activity of his that night. Oh nah, what would y'all do if you were in homie's place right here? I tell Batman everything cause this man has a prestige trophy collection when it comes to breaking a poor soul's body. The goon prepares to explain himself when an alarm type sound starts going off as Batman and the criminal both look in the direction of the sound which turns out to be the suspicious box. Yeah you can already tell shit is about to go south for Batman. The box suddenly opens up as the mysterious being looks up with a kid boo glare and man this shot, that's an expression of someone who's ready to fade anyone with a Gatling gun special. Batman handcuffs the goons as the goatee goon asks Batman what in the blue hell is that creature. Batman being the wise teller he is informs the clown his cargo. You know Batman was waiting to get that line out of his chest. The seven foot being steps out of the box and look at the homie's post up. He's got that type of post up to where you know he's about to pull off some magical shit to surprise Batman and the viewer. Batman tells the goon the suspicious individuals known as Amazo. Now let's pause the commentary to discuss about one of the greatest Just League villains and the one James Gunn should use for a Just League movie in the DC Extended Universe aka Amazo. Mazel. Mazel first appeared in The Brave and the Bold, number 30, in 1960, and was created by Gardner Fox and Mike Stakowski, my brothers and sisters. I'm sorry for saying the last name wrong in the original commentary, but without further ado, let's get right back on with the commentary video.
Oh, sorry, my teeth. A super powered android created by Professor Ivo. Amazo has the ability to copy the powers of those he faces in battle. I recommend y'all checking out This League of America 2006 by Dwayne McDuffie and Ed Beans because man, Amazo was clapping Wally West, Atana, and a handful of other Just Leaguers in that story. Batman informs the thug of basically what I said to y'all a minute ago as Amazo lifts his hands up to create a shockwave to the ground. Batman runs up on Amazo with a market piler and Amazo's to throw a smoke bomb at the android to blind him. A smart strategy from the GOAT hero. From here, Batman gives Amazo a knee to the chin like he's prime CM Punk from the late 2000s and delivers a kick double axe handle combo on the android. Batman gets ready to finish off his meter burn combo when he's grabbed in mid motion by Amazo and punched away Android 18 style into a trailer. Batman is a strong dude because man, he just took a punch from an android with the strength levels of Superman and Wonder Woman. Bruce would have checked himself into a hospital if he were a normal person like you and me. Now my brothers and sisters, we must get ready to talk about one of the greatest characters within DC Comics as Nightwing huh? made his glorious entrance to drop his usual one-liners that also ask Batman if he needs his expertise and clapping the S-tier menace known as Amazo. Like look at Nightwing in this shot. My homie is ready to help Bruce lay the smack down on Amazo's candy ass. Batman no. tells Nightwing no as he runs into Amazo with the plan of taking down the android with a smart technique. Grayson was like damn, Bruce never ever wants my help and performs S-tier acrobatics to drop down to the floor to follow Bruce so he knows his homie is going to need all the help he can get against Amazo. Besides being a top 5 DC character, leader, harem protagonist, and funny guy, Grayson is without a doubt a guy who isn't going to watch the people he cares about get potentially deleted while he's there. That's why he's a cold individual. Amazo activates his Hall of Fame power badge lift up a trailer and my guy's hairline is so jacked up in this shot. He could almost pass off as Aang's long lost relative. Amazo tosses the object at Batman leading to the glass field to duck under. Batman ducked under a moving object just like that. Are we sure this man is not superhuman? The next sequence is just as crazy as Nightwing activates his acrobatics jump card to leap out of the incoming object. Yeah, Batman and Nightwing gotta be secret superhumans cause ain't no way man. Nearby the goatee thug was wondering who Nightwing is and y'all we gotta talk about one of the most appropriate glazing moments ever as his homie told him the person in the blue and black is Nightwing. He was the best first sidekick, the first Robin. Do you know how high of a street credit you have to have in order for a random thug like this fool here to know all about you? That's just letting you know Dick Grayson is a different breed. Y'all the scene was already reaching peak greatness but it rose to a new level with the amazing soundtrack as Nightwing pulled out the brass knuckles. Oh nah, Nightwing is about to knock Amazo's jaw off like Logan Paul did to Randy Orton a few weeks back. Remember when I spoke to you guys about formidable duos teaming together to cook a fellow op? Well, we're now at that stage as Batman and Nightwing activate their inner prime Lakers Kobe Shaq duo formation to jump Amazo. Nightwing performs a Randy Orton dropkick on Amazo while the brute tries for a mega punch. Nightwing springs himself back into the air to deliver a signature 3 o'clock high punch to Amazo, resulting in a piece of skin to fall off the android's face. Nightwing did Amazo so dirty here got homie out here looking like 1984 Terminator. You know the situation was getting worse for Amazo as the android looked up with a shocked Mordecai expression to see Batman dive at him with a Cody disaster kick signature move. If you guys thought the OG dynamic duo were treating this nigga Amazo terribly, already you don't even know the half of it as the 100 overall combined duo proceeded to fire OJ Raffer to deliver a double people uppercut on Amazo. Professor Ivo is going to hell for giving Amazo a crimson chin because these heroes have not stopped in hitting the poor guy there. I almost feel bad for him. Batman finished off their team combo by throwing some batarangs at Amazo who slapped him away and dog. I don't even blame homie being pissed here. If I was constantly being attacked in the chin or face, I'd be getting ready to go off too. Nightwing tells Batman he might have to do better than that to stop Amazo and Bruce answers him by saying he indeed did as the batarang redirected itself back to Amazo like the GPS version of Arkham City until the weapon finally attached huh? itself on Amazo's thigh and my guy is so done. He just wants to be packed up to the afterlife already. Like imagine you're a super powered android known for insane beats and you're getting clapped by two heroes with no powers. I know there's a saying called brains over brawn but god damn Amazo never stood a chance against the highly intelligent individuals known as the original dynamic duo. The battering blows up on Amazo leading to a Dragon Ball Z type explosion to occur and I already know Amazo is gonna look up after that. Bruce and Grayson began running away as Grayson asks Bruce if that'll do anything to the gifted android. Bruce answers Grayson by saying it'll slow down Amazo, though Bruce turned out harshly correct as the android jumped out of the blast with flames all over his body. Bruce really tried turning Amazo into the human torch. It's unfortunate that attack didn't work entirely, but hey, Bruce just made this dude look more like the Terminator again. Amazo looks up and oh my god, my guy's pissed. Nine tails Naruto type pissed. You gotta understand the homie. First his left eye, now his left leg. The disrespect needs to stop 
already. Batman tells Richard to get to higher ground as he realized Amaze was pissed the fuck off. Bruce and Richard grapple on top as Amaze will activate his flying car to fly after them. Nightwing was like, Amaze who can fly Bruce? And Bruce couldn't believe his boy would ask him such a question as the Gotham Hero told him to get out of the way. Unfortunately, Nightwing got caught up from behind with the Alonzo maneuver from Amazo, forcing Batman to chase after them. Batman fires his grapple gun at Amazo's leg while Nightwing tells his father figure he wouldn't be offended by a few suggestions. Don't worry, Dick, you're doing the best you can in this situation. Batman tells Nightwing he has the same weak points as a normal human being, which gives Nightwing a bright idea to backhand Amazo and follow up with a shock attack to the android's ears, causing the poor android to scream out like Ultimate Kevin after getting cooked by Ultimate Echo Echo. After freeing himself, Nightwing links back up with Batman while Amazo crashes back to the ground. Batman and Nightwing both post up ready to end Amazo's existence once and for all while Amazo stands out of the dust to fire his maxed out heat vision at a dynamic duo. The duo activate the ultra instinct reflexes to dodge the heat vision and the heroes were realizing they were being put in a tight situation now knowing the menace has heat vision abilities too. As the android continues spamming his lasers like a game spammer until Batman finally sealed his eyes with a mud grenade. Nightwing tells Batman mudding his eyes probably won't hurt him but Batman's like yeah it will as he activated the explosives on Amazo's eyes resulting in his head to be blown off like a decapitated Mortal Kombat character. Amazo's suffering is finally over but man did Batman and Nightwing cook him badly. Amazo's body dropped down to the ground with the same impact as Q from Darker the Moon and just like that the winners of the duel are none other than a dynamic duo. Batman and Nightwing are easily one of the greatest duels of all time. They're in the same caliber as Shaggy and Scooby, Goku and Vegeta, Mario and Luigi and tons of others out there and I love this sight scene so much for how amazing it displayed the original dynamic duo's effectiveness as a team. Amazo was also fantastic in this, a great Justice League villain that I hope is brought into the DC universe when James Gunn finally does set up the Justice League. Either him or Prometheus or even the White Martians will be good choices for the first Justice League movie in the DC universe. Batman and Nightwing versus Amazos from the highly acclaimed Under the Red Hood animated movie and the storyline that took place after the events of Infinite Crisis in the 2000s and Superboy Prime, you know, punched the whole, I forgot, I forgot, what, I forgot what he did, he punched, he put, he, he did some groundbreaking punch that changed all kinds of stuff and one of those things that changed was Jason Todd being resurrected back. Really great story, I recommend y'all checking out Infinite Crisis and then Under the Red Hood, but yeah man, really good comic man. And also the next video coming out will be the Vilgax debut video for April where he really showed Ben that he ain't shit compared to him, you know? One of the coldest entrances and Vilgax was never cool like that ever again. Omniverse Vilgax is a fraud and Alien Force Vilgax is also a fraud too. The original Vilgax, he's the best version of the character easily. But if y'all enjoyed the video, consider hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also got an Instagram now if y'all want to follow on there. As always, I hope y'all can have a nice week and I'll catch y'all for the next video. Voral Omni out.